Hello again guys, welcome to ITS Information Technology Skills. Today we're going to have a beginner's tutorial about data structures and algorithm. So what is a data structure? It is a way of collecting and organizing data. So it is the same with kung paano mo ayusin yung mga papers mo or kung paano mo ayusin yung closet mo. The next, it is a named location that can be used to store and organize data. Ibig sabihin lang yan guys, dapat meron siyang name para alam mo kung saan mo kukunin or you store yung specific data. So for example, we have this data. We have Infotech skill 3.14 and 12. The next, we have this boxes. So itong mga boxes na to guys, consider natin yan na data structure. Diba yung box dyan natin ini-store yung mga things natin? So, we have here string, integer, and float. So, yung first data natin, we have the infotech skill. Makikita nyo naman, naka-double quote siya. So, big sabihin, store natin siya kay string. The next, we have 3.14, that is float. So, yung 12, dun naman natin store sa integer. So, this data structure is what we call as the primitive data structure. These are predefined data which are supported by the programming language. So, big sabihin ng primitive data structure guys, ito po yung mga data structure na naka-store na or pwede mo nang gamitin depende dun sa programming language na ginagamit mo. So, basically, ito yung mga data structure na built-in. Meron na agad dun sa programming language na ginagamit mo. The next, we have the non-primitive data structure. These are data structures that are not defined by the programming language. So, ito yung mga storage areas na hindi nakadefined or wala pa lang dun sa programming language mo. So, ibig sabihin, these are created by the programmer. It is also called as user-defined data structure. So, non-primitive data structure has two types. Meron siyang linear and non-linear data structure. So, ano yung linear data structure or linear list? These data items are arranged in a linear sequence. So, from the word linear, makikita nyo dyan yung word na line. So, these are data structures na arranged vertically or pwede ding horizontal. So, example of linear list are arrays, stacks, queue, tsaka link list. For non-linear list, these are data items that are not in sequence. So, it is the opposite of linear. So, hindi siya arranged. So, an example of non-linear list is tree and graph. So, to better understand data structure, we have this. So, from the data structure, meron siyang dalawang type. Meron siyang primitive and non-primitive data structure. So, under primitive data structure, these are the string, integer, float, and pwede ding pointer. So, these are the primitive data structures. The next for non-primitive data structure, we have linear and non-linear list. So, ano yung mga linear list? We have array, stack, queue, and link list. These are the linear list. Under non-linear list, these are the tree and graph. The next, we're going to have algorithm. It is a finite set of instructions. So, these are written in order. So, if we're talking about instruction, para maintindihan nyo ng isang tao or isang computer, it must be written in order. Algorithm is not a program. It is a core logic or a solution of a problem. So, we have two types of algorithm. The basic two types of algorithm, we have pseudocode and flowchart. For the pseudocode, from the word pseudo means false. So, big sabihin yan guys, it is a false code. So, what are the false code? It can be a combination of English language and a programming language as long as naintindihan mo kung ano yung logic mo. So, for the flowchart, ilalagay ko na lang sa description box or dyan sa taas ng screen nyo yung link para mapanood nyo. So, if you want to know more about algorithms, check out my video about the introduction to algorithm, algorithm versus program, and characteristics of algorithm. So, that's
Watch it guys! Kung may katanungan pa kayo, just comment down below at sasagutan natin.